Thursday evening and I'm done with my work week almost. I do need to do something tomorrow morning. Just so I feel better about myself. I'm not really in the mood to write so I was like I have to hold myself accountable and that is by pointing a camera at myself. The story I'm writing right now is kind of difficult in a way. There's a lot of plot and exposition, world building and I'm not the best at that so I need my all my brain power and in the evenings that gets a little hard. Okay, there we are again. I wrote 868 words and I'm now at 12111. That's pretty good. I don't remember how long I wrote actually, but yeah, I think I wrote for like 40 minutes. It was really fun. I don't know if you recognize this from your own writing. I had this character planned out like, uh, like he was going to be the bad guy. Uh, and while I wrote him, I was like, you know what would be super fun? if he was like this guy my main character doesn't like but he's worse you know so she she appreciates the guy she doesn't like more uh i'm trying to write this sort of enemies to lovers kind of thing but not really enemies it's not that strong so i thought maybe it could be a foil is that what it's called is that the official lingo yeah so i just made it up on the spot and it fitted perfectly and now i feel super clever i don't know if you have that if you're right but yay morning it's now the next day it's friday i'm going to write now because i want to try the three sprints a day again see if that helps me get really into the story again um because like i said yesterday i've been struggling a bit with getting into it but i do think it's because of work that has been stressful which was different when i was writing the book and the second book because my mind was constantly like working through the story, thinking about it, thinking about plot points, thinking about the characters, and that's not the case at all with this story. So I think that's a big difference there. So we need to get my mind on this story and we need to get words on the paper and we need to get started right now. It's now half an hour, no, I think a little more than that, 40 minutes or something later. And I wrote 769 words, which is pretty good. I got another scene done. Um, that's usually my end point of writing right now. I usually try in a writing sesh to finish at least one scene, which on the one hand is good because I feel like I finished something, like I accomplished something, like I can cross something off my list. On the other hand, um, I also feel like my scenes get a little longer now than they used to, but that's fine, I guess. Gives me more time to really set the mood. Never mind, this is a rant. I'm going on a rant and I don't have anything useful to say other than I think my scenes are getting longer, so let's just stop. I need to get to work now, actually. or Well, not to work, but just at the place to pick up my computer mouse because my hand hurts after so many days of not using the right mouse. brought my trusty mouse back but the bookshop was open the bookstore and I might have just purchased three books I love how they like wrap it so it's really a present 
they say it's because um, to protect it, but I mean, kind of. Anyway, I also wanted to show you what I'm going to read because I finished my book. I didn't actually finish my book, no. I read uh, 150 pages of Wicked Saints by Emily Duncan or something. Yeah, and DNF'd it because I was frankly so annoyed by the writing style. I didn't like it at all. We're in quarantine and we don't have time to suffer through more boring stuff. I'm going to read a book I'm pretty sure at least I'm going to love the writing style. And that's The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Kloon. I really, really, really like this writer and his writing style. And it's not too long. All the books I bought in a sec, I guess. But I first want to get some reading done because I'm... I've been waiting to read this book. Relatable piece here. Um, also a very funny anecdote. Okay, so this guy were, has an office job and yeah, it's relatable. Those who Mrs. Jenkins and Gunther passed by kept their heads down, pretending to work. But Linus knew better. They were listening as best they could to find out what he'd done wrong and what his punishment would be. Possibly he'd be forced to leave early and have his pay docked. Or perhaps he'd have to stay later than normal and still have his pay docked. At worst, he'd be fired. His professional life would be over and he wouldn't have any pay to get docked ever again. He couldn't believe it was only Wednesday. And it was made worse when he realized it was actually Tuesday. I don't know, just thought that was really funny. You know that moment when you're like, oh, thank God I'm almost done with the week and then you're not. Okay, so I just read 70 pages of The House in the Cerulean Sea and oh my god, this is so fun already. The pace is very slow of the story, but like in that good way, you know, sometimes when you read a book and you, know, you feel yourself slowly being transported into this world. I normally don't really like slow pacing, especially in fantasy books, but what it creates i know this world i know the character i know everything about it already or something it's really it's really interesting how much of a connection it creates between me and the story already and i think dj's writing style works really well for this pacing because he has such a fun way of writing he has it's he has these descriptions that are just perfect but also the humor he sprinkles throughout the mundane life the pictures he paints with his words it's just it's just great it's great and this is so fun and i can't wait to continue reading this is the perfect book to read when it's raining which it is so yeah but i need to get on my second sprint of the day Hello from the abyss. My god, I wrote for like so long there. Maybe it wasn't so long, but it felt very long. 136 words, which is super amazing. I nearly hit 2000 words and I'm only on my second sprint. Anyway, so 13, almost 14K in this story. I was writing a scene, but then halfway through, I figured, no, this is too soon for this scene to happen. So I knocked it down and started again with a new scene. And then I was like, but there needs to be another scene connecting the two scenes. So I just had to think really hard there and like rework everything. Because I like to work in chronological order. I don't like to write a scene and then fix the rest. I plan and plot for stories, I do, but I like 
discovering more about the characters, the world and everything as I go. So what I write has consequences for following scenes. If I were to write scenes at random, I would have to rework constantly to figure out, oh no wait, I said this in that scene, so I have to do this in this scene too and it would just be a mess. I do plot because I have this trusty handy dandy notebook. Uh, let me see. And yeah, so I wrote down a few things that I want to like include in the story and then here I just bullet point what I want in what I want in the story and here I continued and this is basically like the plot line. I write my writing is big, jeez. Do you think I've been playing anything else? Hello, I come to you freshly showered. I read some more of TJ's book after dinner. So I'm like 110 pages in or something. And I'm loving it so much. It's been so long since I've I'm so into a book. I'm not gonna do my third sprint of the day because my first two were very long. They each took uh 40 45 minutes or something and i had to think a lot i don't know this story just takes a lot of brain power maybe it's because it's fantasy and that is like more difficult because i also need to create a world and a culture that might be it but yeah it's it's way more tiring and i did write a lot already i counted uh both sprints and the the, the word number and it's like 1600 which is a very good writing day for me so I'm I think I'm gonna at least do two sprints tomorrow maybe three I don't know yeah I did do a little writing uh, I didn't film it but uh, just now I quickly put in some thoughts I had <laughs> while taking a shower because that's the time when you have the thoughts you know uh, I was in the shower I remembered I wanted to put in a few little plot details points um, a little hints so I just quickly added those and then Added a paragraph here, added a paragraph there. So I might have written like a hundred words. Um, yeah, so that brings my total to like 1700 words, which is very good. I had a really good day. I'm going to watch Avatar The Last Airbender now because I've been binging that series for a week, two weeks now. And yeah, we're on season three, which is the best season. So yeah, gonna have a relaxed evening gonna chill with Mati, gonna watch Zuko have his redemption arc. Cage, who this? Oh yeah, great. Just both go in the pocket. Ah. So I just did a 10 minute sprint. I just did a 10 minute sprint, put a timer on everything and I wrote 287 
words. I didn't finish a scene. No, wait, I did finish a scene because I started a scene yesterday and I finished it today. But yeah, it's not a lot, but you know, got in a little sprint this morning. So as you can tell, I just took a shower because I needed one and I needed to wash my hair and air drying my hair is better than drying it with the blower, hair blower. I, I was reading, then I took a shower and immediately continued reading because I really, really like it. Um, I'm now at page 190, so I'm making good progress and it is so cute. It's like, I think when you're in a bad mental uh, space and you want something that's calming and cute this is the perfect book sort of like taking a holiday you're really on this island on in the house at the cerulean sea it's it's amazing it's it's a really feel good book i don't have anything more interesting to say other than that, that i love it and it's very cute and it's already four stars depends on how the rest of the book goes if it's a five stars or no i'm gonna write now uh to have my afternoon sprint even though it's like 5 p.m already but yeah still gonna do that Okay, so dinner's ready, so this is gonna be a quick one, but I wrote for like 50 minutes again, like a little longer than this morning, and I wrote 291 words, which puts me at a respectable 500 or something, 600, so yeah, that's pretty good if I get another writing chunk done um, tonight, I should be good. Though I am really in the mood to watch a film or a movie, so that's, that's the same thing. Hi, so it's now a few days later and I just wanted to quickly wrap up uh, what I read and I promised a book haul and then I didn't deliver so now I'm gonna do the book haul. So first I finished The House in the Cerulean Sea. This is not a book I got this month. Okay, so first of all I finished The House in the Cerulean Sea. This is not a book I got this month, but I read it, you saw me read it, you saw me love it. I just, <laughs> I think the vlog was more reading this book than writing, if I'm being honest. It's like a five star read for me. It's not because the story itself was so groundbreaking in terms of originality. I just had so much fun. I finished a few books. Um, that I didn't particularly like and I had the book that I DNF'd and it got me not in a slump but I didn't I wasn't looking forward to reading as much and this book definitely got me out of it again and reminded me what I like about reading and just the calm it gave me and I don't know reading this book made me feel good made me feel happy and calm and that's honestly worth the five stars but other than that I mean you've heard me rant about this before it's just a good book okay yeah Another book that I got through the mail because I pre-ordered it um, is Bonds of Brass. This book I actually saw on Twitter, I think, and someone was like, whoa, this book, it's gay, it's in space, but it's very cute and it's epic. And I was like, what got me in? <laughs> I pre-ordered it just like that. I don't actually know too much about this, but um, I like the cover. Uh, I don't particularly like sci-fi that much, but after reading illuminate i was like well maybe i should give it a shot also i really love one of the uh, blurbs at the back a fast space <laughs> a fast 
toothpaste, space opera with heart and style. Bonds of brass had me screaming kiss already on every page. I'm like that is what you want, you know? Onto the three books I bought at the bookstore to treat myself because it's been so long since I visited a bookstore. First, I picked The Deathless Girls by Kira, Kieran, Kieran, Kieran Millwood Hargrave. I actually found I have another book of hers on my shelves that I have not read yet. But after reading this, I'm very intrigued to pick that one up because I read this. Finishes in like two days. It's very sort of gothic uh, in, the, in the story itself. It's dark. It has dark themes. It's a retelling and I didn't know it was a retelling when I started reading. I only found out at the last page because there she explains this is a retelling and she says uh, what retelling what story she chose and uh, what elements of the story she especially put into this book and that was very interesting and it made me like the book a lot more I think because I especially like the beginning of the book, the romance, the, the build up in the, uh, of the romance is just great honestly uh, but then it, it kind of felt you know like it, it kind of felt like we went too fast with this story it, it had almost this fairy tale-esque vibe I didn't get a connection with the character, she just flew through the story like this happened and this happened and it had beautiful writing, don't get me wrong, but at the end I didn't feel super connected to anyone and I think that's a shame. I think if this had been a little longer she could have taken the time to do that. On the other hand, if she wanted to go for the retelling vibe, that's what she did, so if that's what she went for, good for her. I gave this 3.5 stars, by the way. Next up, I picked Where the River Runs Gold. I don't know if you can see it. At first I thought it said cold, but it's gold. And this sounded super interesting. I was in the mood for a middle grade book again. And it's a world where bees are gone and children are forced to do the work of bees, basically. Um, that's all I know. It just sounded interesting. It sounded like I was... I guess I was in the mood for fantasy because the other one is also a fantasy. And the last book is a book I've had on my list for quite some time now and it's Darius the Great is not okay and this is a contemporary book. It's about Darius obviously and he's struggling with his identity, he's half Persian and then he meets this boy and they have a real connection and he's struggling to just go through life as every YA contemporary the main character is just struggling being a teenager which I can very much relate to but yeah uh, I saw the sequel that also looked really cool and that's what made me really want to pick this one up. But also I kind of like the, the style of the cover. So those were the books that I hauled this month. For now I am reading this heavy, heavy boy. Oh my god, it is so... You just, just, just as a reference, like... I picked up the second book of Illuminae and gonna see what I think of it. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more of this, you could click the subscribe button. Bye! <laughs>